boys i know you guys have all been waiting for this video right here if you're new to the channel welcome to s1k dk's youtube channel uh i finally got the bren tune we are back from the tale of the dragon trip and we are going to tune the s1000 double r today the 2023 of course she's a little bit dirty i still need to clean it up from the dragon don't worry about it i put some miles on it right so First off, you got this in the mail. Woo, you're all excited. You're watching this video. How do I do it? I'm about to teach you right now. Today is gonna be showing you how to update and download and everything with the Brentune flasher, the handheld. Uh, this is probably gonna be the second scene in the video. So uh, you probably already know kind of what I'm talking about. So what you gotta do is open up your Google Chrome, Safari, whatever you guys are gonna use and look up ET Moto. And after you make a uh, account through them, oops, after you make an account through them, this will be pretty easy, but uh, just go ahead and make an account and all that. So once you're logged in, you're gonna see this page right here. Um, you're gonna wanna go to resources and you're gonna wanna select your bike. So for me, it's a BMW S1000RR 2023. And you are gonna have the instructions and all this stuff if you wanna you know, have the instructions besides watching this video, go ahead and download that. Otherwise, a handheld software download. So you're going to hit go on that. And uh, it's going to download. It's going to bring you to this. You're going to click on it. Can't be previewed. And you're just going to hit the download button right there. And you're going to see in the bottom left hand corner that it is downloading. So when that is done downloading, I'll get back to you. So once you have it all downloaded and on your computer, right, you're going to want to click update. And you're going to want to update your My Genius software right away. So you're going to hit OK. I, you have read all of that. You know, I said accept. And you will see that it is updating. So you want to make sure it's on the top software or uh, the most uh, newest software that it has. So this will take a while. See, now it's going to ask you before proceeding with this requested operation, please make sure that my genius is plugged into the USB port of the PC. So now you're going to take your. Sorry if you hear my cat meowing in the background. You're going to want to take your handheld device. You're going to want to plug it in to the PC. So I am doing that now. And you're going to want to plug it in using the USB cable provided, right? So once it's plugged in, you hit retry. Okay, now since it's completed, you're gonna wanna open it back up. So you're gonna wanna grab your key, right? I have this one on. Otherwise, if you have the non-passenger one on, just take off the non-passenger. But this one's nice and easy. You're gonna wanna clip that off, take off that, bada bing, bada boom. Put that over there by the grom. Take out your little toolbox or your little tool kit. I always keep that around just in, just in case if anything happens on the road. You're gonna wanna make sure you put this in a nice and safe spot. I probably want to suggest it being right there, just in case if it drops, you're shit out of luck, you're going to have to <laughs> email Bren Tune. So now, what you got to do is you got to plug this in to the bike, and I'm going to show you right now. I'm actually going to move this in a safer spot, move it right there. So, this is the OBD2, OBD2 sensor plug, I think I said that right. You're going to take that off, there's one clip right there and one clip on the other side. That is where you're gonna plug it into. So you are gonna take your OBD2 uh, cord. There it is, cord. You wanna plug it in to the Brentune flasher. So you're gonna to wanna to plug it in. I know you can't see anything right now. I'm sorry, I only have two hands and I'm not trying to show my face. You wanna plug it in nice and tight, nice and snug, and you're gonna to want to, let me see if I can maybe do this. You're gonna to wanna to plug it in nice and tug, and you're gonna to wanna to screw these parts in right there, kinda of like a VGA cable, if you guys are familiar with that, right? So you're gonna to wanna to plug it in nice and tight. You wanna screw those bad boys in. All right, so I got it plugged in, right? She's plugged, she's plugged in, and I am going to, hold on, hold on, let me make sure it's in a nice, safe position, right? I'm having it on the seat. And then you are gonna wanna plug this bad boy in, the other side, into this. Pretty nice and easy, let me do it real quick. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
See, you got it plugged in and it should turn on, right? So you got the work. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot. I have to have it this orientation. You have the work, you have the menu, the reset, the setup, all that stuff. And we'll get back to you in one second. All right, and now since I already did this step previously, right before the Tale of the Dragon, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had to do it, right? Oh, it's kind of on a time crunch. You're gonna wanna press work, right? And then it's gonna make you press the BMW motor rod, right? So if this is for the BMW, you gotta press the BMW motor rod and then you have to press the make of the model, right? So you're gonna press S1000, double R, and then you're gonna make a press a year and it's gonna be the 2023 or whatever year you guys have and then you're gonna press on that, okay? The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I can't follow along with you guys. I'm so sorry about that. I, I, I can't wait, you know what I mean? It was kind of too hard to resist. But once you do everything on the screen, right, you're gonna ID it, you're gonna do all that stuff, and then you're gonna say the file, it's gonna say on here that the file has been uploaded successfully. And then you're gonna go to your computer in your house, you're gonna plug it in, and yes sir, let's get into that one. Okay, and once you're back from your bike with your, uh, with your stock file uploaded onto the Brentune Flasher, you're gonna want to download from My Genius, right? So you're gonna wanna click on that, it's gonna say all this stuff, yep, yep. And then I put it to my desktop so it's easily uh, accessible, right? So you can easily find it. You wanna hit next, you wanna hit confirm, right? Since I already did it, uh, I'm not gonna do that, but just go ahead and do that and you will have your file on your uh, PC, just like right here. And once you have that, I'm just gonna drag that over here um, on my other monitor. And once you have your file on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to go to Brent Tuning again, make sure you're signed in. So I'm signed in and you're gonna hit upload files. You wanna upload your file and it says drag and drop your file. So I'm gonna go like this, right? So here's my file right here. I'm gonna drag and drop just like how it says. And there you go, you're gonna hit next. Please select your order ID. Oh, here it is. There we go. And now you're gonna enter in all of the stuff. It's gonna ask you a bunch of questions and you're just gonna answer all of these questions. So once you're on this page, you're gonna wanna fill out everything. Uh, just like, you know, whatever you use, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, just fill it all out. And when you're done with it, you're gonna hit next. And then once you have everything filled out, it's gonna say thank you, your file has been submitted. We will email you as soon as it's ready. Typically turnaround times are between one to two business days. So when I get the file back, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I heard they're very quick with it. So we'll see if they get back to me sooner than later. All right guys, so I just got the email. They literally did it in like maybe 20 minutes. I'm not over exaggerating, I'm not under exaggerating. They literally got it done in 20 minutes because Brent Tuning is the best. If you guys are looking to tune your bike, Brent Tuning is the way to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back on BT Moto, right? You see this, right? You're gonna wanna go to resources and you're gonna wanna click my files. And you're gonna wanna be signed in for all this stuff. And you're gonna see the tune files and my uploads. So this was the upload that you already did beforehand. And this is gonna be the tune file that you did or that they gave to you, right? So you're gonna wanna download that. I'm sorry, I kinda already downloaded. I was a little bit too excited. So once you have that downloaded, you're gonna wanna click and drag, okay? So I clicked and dragged and I have the stock file right here and the tune file right here. And what you're gonna wanna open up your My Genius client, okay? So you are going to, once it responds, this thing's kind of a, this software isn't the best. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to upload to My Genius, right? So you wanna upload My Genius who connected, you continue with the wizard, right? So it's connected. I wanna press yes, select a file to upload to my, giant, my genius tool. So you wanna to go to this PC, oh, my bad desktop, and you're gonna press on the 168 or whatever your numbers are. You wanna open, verifying the file. So once that's all done, select a file to upload to my genius tool. You wanna to press next, and do you wanna upload this file? Yep, sounds good. Press confirm. 
file loading onto the tool. So now it is uploading. You have to make sure that your flasher is plugged into the computer, obviously. It is uploading it to the flasher. Then it's gonna see procedure completed successfully. So you're gonna to wanna to close that. And now your, your file is on your flasher. I'm gonna let it do its thing right here before I exit it out real quick. And then once that's all done, you hit exit and you are going to want to go back out to your bike. So I'll be out there with you. All right guys, so once you have the modded file on the Brentoon flasher itself, you're gonna to wanna, to, I already had this plugged in before from the previous, so you're gonna to wanna to plug it in. So I'm gonna plug that in real quick and I will show you guys every single step. I'm not gonna lie boys, I'm really excited. All right, so now this is on, this is all plugged in nice. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is very plugged in. So you don't wanna to touch it that much. So just in case if you mess with it, it is gonna like, you know, corrupt the file or anything. So you're gonna see main menu. You're gonna to wanna to press work. So I'm gonna press okay. And you're gonna to go to writing. So go to writing. And then you're gonna see the file that it came with. So DK tuning file. So S1K DK, they know me, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna press okay. And then it's gonna wait, wait. Operation in progress. You want to make sure that your key is in the ignition because it's going to make it's going to ask you to turn on and turn off your bike. Warning: Please connect vehicle to a stabilized battery. So I'm going to do that real quick. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I'm just going to play it safe. Play it extra safe. It's asking you to do it, so why not? I'm going to plug it in quick. I probably recommend you guys to plug in yours as well. Even if you start it all the time and you ride it all the time, just plug it in. It's not that hard, right? So once you have that, you're gonna to wanna to press okay. Switch on the dashboard. You just have to press it on. You don't have to wait until you know all that stuff loads. You don't wanna press okay. Before starting with the writing procedure, make sure to, make sure to what? Make sure to perform the reading of the vehicle. Okay, we already did that beforehand. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold this as steady as possible. This has been a uh, a big long wait for me and I cannot wait to finally tune my bike. It's gonna be a brand new bike. What they do is take off the throttle restrictions. So when you're in like fourth gear or whatever and you're full throttle, it really is only like 70% throttle even when you're full throttle because of BMW's restrictions. So you wanna switch off the dashboard. So you're gonna switch it off, hit okay. Please connect your, okay, we already did that. Switch on the dashboard, switch it on, press okay. So now it is programming the ECU and it, it, it is going to be all weird. It's going to make a bunch of clunks and noises. Do not worry about that. Do not worry about any of that. That is normal. Don't press anything. Don't turn it off. Just let it do its thing. All right, that took about, I'd say give or take 10 minutes. So now it says switch off the dashboard. So I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna press okay. Please connect your vehicle to a battery. Already did that. Switch on the dashboard. Switch it on, hit okay. Switch off the dashboard, switch it off, hit okay. Writing ECU completed. And now it's gonna log everything that it did. So just in case if you guys have problems, you, uh, Brentune can troubleshoot it for you. So once this is done, then you're all good to go. Then your bike, your new 2023 S1000 RR is all flash. I'm sorry I say it like, uh, what is a 650 IB, man? It's kind of fucking, it's hard not to say that anymore. Like 2023 S1000 RR. 
And once you have it back on this screen, you are all good to go. So now I'm gonna take this in for a drive and I'm gonna show you guys my honest and genuine reaction. So from this, the review from this, quick and easy, pretty self-explanatory, and it worked just like how it should. So let me put everything back together, put this back inside, and I'll get back to you guys in my helmet. All right, guys. Sorry for all the switchbacks in this video. First it was the iPhone, then the computer, then the iPhone again, and then the computer again. And now we are in the motor vlog setup. So I did not start this bike up yet. I wanted to wait until I showed you guys. And some of the benefits about having the Brentune is that starting it up cold, starting it is supposedly way better. So I want to show you guys if it is or is not better. I will tell you guys honestly about everything that uh, I see in here. So let's give this in a cold start with the brand new Brentune just staged. It is already a lot better. I can I, I know it because it's not as loud and it's not going up and down and idle, right? Before, if you guys have watched my previous videos, it will go up and down and idle a lot, trying to catch up to itself. But it is staying at 2000 RPMs. And one cool thing about the Brent tune is that the tune reads the O2 sensors all the time like every single second that you have this bike on so it will make it better richer leaner in uh, situations that you need it right and yes boys I'm squinting today I'm fuck I'm squinting all right DK the squid call me at all you want yeah it's heating up a lot faster too so Let's see about the throttle response. I'm honestly kind of scared, but I'm very excited. All right, and if you guys see my bell, my girlfriend got me a little bell to make sure I'm nice and safe. So let's see what this bike is all about now. I'm gonna have it in race mode, so I'm gonna put it to race mode real quick. Oh, look at that. So one thing that I, know, I just noticed it changed my presets, so I'm going to have to do that real quick. Riding mode pre-selection. Yeah, let me get my race mode back up in there. My race pro one, and I have dynamic. Let me get all that back in there. So I'm going to put it to race mode. I don't like messing with uh, race pro one, so that's one thing. Apparently it uh, messes with your modes it takes off all of your modes it only lets you be in road mode well it doesn't let you it only makes it only road mode so we'll see the crackles are still there so you guys do not need to worry about that if you guys like the tune the cracks God! <laughs> Holy shit! So usually beforehand, right? So beforehand, when I'd go almost... Well, that wasn't even full throttle, boys. That was not even close. Let me say that right now. When I would go like half throttle like I did right there, it felt like a 600. And now, since it's tuned, it de-restricts the throttle right so the restrictions that I put on it for the USA are now off oh yeah oh fuck yeah oh dude she pulls wow the, the throttle and the the power, the torque is all there throughout all the RPMs and all of the gears. 
And my favorite part, the pops and crackles are still there. RPMs, the throttle isn't all there, and then finally when it gets past that, you feel the jolt of power. You feel it. You absolutely feel it, and it, it kind of, it's very unpredictable, but now the Brent tune is a 100% throttle the whole way, so when I crack this thing open 100%, it's going to be 100%, right? So... I can 100% feel it already, and I know I haven't even gone fast. And you don't have to go fast if you know what you're trying to talk about, right? You don't have to go fast to prove a point. And my point is already proven, of course. Hold on. I will go fast. Hold on. Oh, my God. Yes. This is exactly how a thousand should be. And that's why that car is fucked up, because he's just going to the ditch left and right. This is how an 1,000 should be from factory. But for some reason, it's like BMW wants you to tune your bike, because there's not enough power there already stock. It restricts it so much to the point where it's just like, it's honestly quite sad. So I'm going to let these cars get in front of me a little bit. I'm going to slow down here. Some gravel here. Watch out for that. Boop, boop, boop. All right. I'm going to do a 60 mile per hour pull. Oh my God. Fucking flies! Holy shit! Holy fuck! This is a brand new bike. Holy fuck. wheel coming up. Holy shit! Wow! Wow! This is actually mind-blowing! Holy fuck! Oh my Lord Jesus Christ!
if you guys do not have a friend tuned yet and you guys are thinking about it, please just get one. Please just get one. And if you guys want to wait a little bit, me and Brent Tunin have some very exciting news to announce soon here and hopefully we can save you some money, right? So if you are waiting to buy it, you're like, oh, it's too expensive, oh, this and that. If you're waiting to buy it, save up some money, wait a little bit, give me like two weeks and Brent Tune and I are coming out with some exciting news that will help you and me and Brent Tune, right? But my lord guys, seriously, if you guys do not have one yet, fucking get one. This is a brand new bike. This is like a brand new bike. is no longer a little 600 in the lower rpms right this thing is a beast this is exactly how it should be exactly how it should be stacked but it's not and uh yeah that's basically all i have to say about this bros if you guys enjoyed today's video i'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place it kind of sucks how i didn't wait for you guys and i was too excited so i'm sorry about that there's other videos about it all over but i know you guys probably want to hear from me but if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I answer back to every single comment. And uh, give Brentune a try if you own a 2023 S1000 and you guys aren't satisfied with your needs, right? Because this bike should be way faster stock, but it's not, like I keep saying. You guys will love it. All right, peace out, bros.